In today's video, we are going to create an amazing poster design in Photoshop. Grab your mouse as we dive in. First things first, we are going to create a new document. Choose a solid color. We are going to create another solid color. Copy this as good. Create a new layer with a soft hand brush. Opacity is set to 100, flu is set to 100, foreground is set to white. Increase brush size and we are going to click once. Undo that, right click and set hardness to zero. We are going to click once. Set layer blend mode to overlay. With this layer selected, we are going to select the mask, set foreground to black, grab the gradient tool. Then we are going to drive this way to erase. Now let's grab our asset for this tutorial. We are going to copy the middle cap, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to big, we position it right here. Grab our guides. So we drop it a bit. Now let's grab the test. With this layer selected, we select the mask. With a soft hand brush, right click and change roundness. We reduce opacity. Set foreground to black. And we are just going to mask out some portion this way. Reduce opacity. Set foreground to white. And we are going to paint some back. Reduce the opacity. Now we are going to put a curves adjustment layer right above all layers. Reduce the opacity. We are going to put an exposure adjustment layer. With a mask selected, control I to invert. With a soft time brush. Right click and set rounders back to normal. Set foreground to white. And we are going to paint. We are going to create a test adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. Holding down the shift key on the keyboard. We are going to select these four layers, copy all of them together, Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to bit. Then we are going to put these two layers off for now.
holding down the shift key, we are going to select all these layers and copy all of them together. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Now we are going to position one layer one right here. The position layer two right about here. And you are going to add layer 3. Now each layer has an extension. Layer 1, layer 2 and layer 3 has an extension. So we are just going to position the extension just right above, just right below the layers. So layer 2 extension goes under layer 2. Layer 1 extension goes under layer 1. Just like that. With this layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. Great amount with the max selected. We grab the polygonal also too, so we are going to create a selection this way. Once you have a selection, we right click and we are going to fill that with a foreground color. Foreground color is set to black and we hit OK. Ctrl D to the extent. So we do the same for layer 2. We do the opacity. We create a mask with a mask selected. With a polygonal lasso too, we are going to create a selection. Once we have a selection, we right click and we are going to fill it with a foreground color black. Ctrl D to the extent. Now we can take opacity back to 100 for all three layers. With this layer selected, we are going to be painting some shadows. We create an exposure adjustment layer, clip right onto the layer. With the mask selected, control I to invert with the soft brush. Hardness is set to zero. We reduce opacity, set foreground to white. We reduce opacity, set foreground to white. And we are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, we are going to put an exposure and that's mainly a clip right onto the layer. With the mask and that control I to invert. With a soft time brush, foreground is set to white and we are going to paint some shadows. We are going to select these three layers and lock them. With this layer selected, we create an exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the soft time brush B for brush, we set opacity, set foreground to white, and we are going to paint some shadows.
So basically, it's the same technique. We create an exposure adjustment layer. You invert the mask. With a soft hand brush, you set foreground to white and you are going to paint some shadows. With this layer selected, we right click and convert that into a smart object, Ctrl T to transform. With the layer selected, we are going to make a copy by pressing Ctrl T. We make an extra copy, Ctrl T. Then we position it right here. With this layer selected, we are going to paint some shadows. So we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip right onto the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With a soft hand brush, we are going to paint some shadows. Now we need some contact shadow, so right here, we are going to create a new layer with a soft hand brush. Increase the opacity, foreground is set to black. Right click and change roundness of the brush. So we are going to paint. Once the layer in place, we are going to set blend mode to overlay. Ctrl J to make a copy. We transform back a bit. Then we are going to reduce opacity for both layers. Both layers selected, we are going to transform that a bit. Place a cast adjustment layer. Reduce the opacity. Overall, we are going to paint some shadows for everything right here.
Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object. Then we we'll go for camera roll. So filter, camera roll, filter. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the camera roll settings until we land the outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit touch. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, stay creative.